Look at me. Unless it was time to reveal the discovery to the village. They called it Arcanity. <laughs> Neat. Great. You can help the women heat up our food. The people in the village didn't understand the importance of Arcanity, but Mako and... Is that Maug? We're not deterred. Well, that went great. I have an idea. What's that? Remember that, that herbal concoction your grandmother used to give us when we were sick as kids? Of course I remember. It was terrible. If your theory about how mana gathers in our bodies is right, then wouldn't the herbs in that concoction, I don't know, affect or change it somehow? Oh my, you're right. It would have to. Hours later. It's working. I can feel the mana rejuvenating more quickly, gathering in my fingertips. And if we were to add panda seed concentrate, uh, concentrate and boost it with sodium, yes, the possibilities are endless. And the possibilities were indeed endless. They researched and explored the possi those possibilities, achieving ever more amazing things that few in the village could understand or appreciate. Years passed, but their continued obsession with Arcanity never did. They made breakthroughs and even took on a few students. Still, few saw Arcanity as more than a novelty, and interest was generally low. The warriors in particular saw Mako as an odd sort of laughingstock. That would change though, and soon as a great evil would take the peaceful Akazi by storm and threaten their very existence. The Siege. The undead came from the sea. The warriors were terribly unprepared. The Akazi had never seen undead before, had never encountered an invading army. They simply did not have the numbers to repel such an invasion. Oh dear. The warrior chief had many flaws, but he was brave. He loved his home and his people. He loved his wife, his, infa his infant son, Cain. Quickly, we must form a wall between the valley and the village. Spears ready, they must not reach the village. He had failed them all, and this would certainly be his last day. He only hoped to stall this nightmare long enough for some to escape. But then, the most unexpected thing happened. What are you doing here? Cover your ears. What? Why? Mako and Mauk appeared. And while Mauk defended their position, Mako d decimated the Skeleton King's army. Epilogue. Wait, I wonder if that's the grandfather. The Skeleton King had retreated to the shadows, the warriors cleared what remained of the undead invaders, and by morning peace was, re was restored to Tenzia. Mako had won the hearts of all Akazi, ensuring Arcanity would become a pillar of their culture. As for the warrior chief, Mako, wait. Customarily, only Akazi children express remarks on, on hands and knees. I owe you everything, my life, my family. You saved us all, I'm so sorry for the way I've treated you. It's okay, please. But Mako was ever gracious. You'll have my loyalty always, my friend, until the end of days. The end. Oh, there we go. That was a nice little story. Oh, I was about to say, I've got a key. There we go, we read it. Da da da! Kantake's journal complete. Wait, can I hit this? You cannot hit the gong. It's a damn shame. What is this? Oh, right, I can put gems into my weapon. If I so choose. Yeah. I can't, I can't help myself. It's just fun to shoot a fireball into them as they all perish. Boop. Even though they do only give one XP, it's still fun. Alright, cool. Right, now we can leave. I am. Be careful out there. See, this time it didn't tell me to go get potions. Crossroads. Zone. Or zones. The world is divided into zones. When you cross a zone border, the name of the zone you're entering will show on the screen. Monsters cannot follow you across zone borders. Ha! Great. Can use that to my advantage. I can't climb? That's baloney. Fine. I don't care. Oh, well there's the bar. Wait, there's loads. Uh. Okay, they die instantly still, so that's nice. Oh, mana doesn't recover. Of course. Hmm. At least that's the way it seems. Maybe it does if you get near one of these. Oh wait, no, I see I see the bar. It's kind of skating around the place. Yeah, if I'm in in the range of the totem I recover everything. I should have guessed that was gonna be the case. Oh, never mind. So what about the like regular bars? Can I take care of those? Oh yeah! Oh god, no. Resisted. Wow, it didn't die. Jesus. hey -ya! Got him! Six gold, six gold. They give me a fair bit. It's not bad. Ooh! 
Dangling undergrump. Hmm. What if I did that? Oh, I can't do that. Eh, yeah, whatever. Wait. I was about to say, why am I not hitting it? We got him! Oh god. I resisted it. Son of a bitch. There we go, we got it. Yeah, they say, like, that's my, like, best attack. <laughs> I'm just stood here, like, that doesn't do much. Yeah, I want more of that undergrump. But I also want to heal. It's got kind of a fairly big range. Kind of. Wait, who's over here? It's just a wild boar. There's like a camp. Okay, I can't do anything here. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, there it is. Oh, the drop-ins. Oh, shit. Ah! Holy crap. That is not the one I wanted to root. Wait, do I still get healed? No, I don't. Of course. Ah. I keep doing it to the wrong one. Son of a bitch. Ah. You are slain. Yeah, I kept rooting the wrong one. I do kind of wish that changing targets was... better. It really doesn't work all that well if you're controlling the camera with the right stick. I suppose that's mostly a um, a controller issue rather than the actual game. Still, kind of a shit thing. Quick. Oh right, they go on there too. Hmm. Um, wait a minute. Oh, that's the speed potion. Whoops. So equip that over here. We'll do it on Y and A. So equip that. What level is that bar though? I wonder. Oops. Ah, oh, fuck. Corrupted bar. Hmm. I'm going to try and kill it. Why not? Of course it resisted it. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, it does barely anything. It makes more sense to just use root and fireball. Boop. Oh! I resisted it. No! Oh god. Ah! I don't think he resisted the the root spell. Maybe he did. Fiddle do. Got him. 18 XP. Oh yeah. Return my disenchanted feather to him. Oh there we go. We had to kill the bar. Oh shit. Never would have guessed that. Boop. Oh my god. So if I actually locked on, you can't actually jump. No, you can't. You have to not be locked on. There we go, we got the, the thing. Nice. I just want to hit it with the jump attack. Whee! Oink. I keep missing. Ah. I need a better staff. No, that's, that's my opinion. You get more like drop ins. That's nice. Now right back to the village we go, I guess. Boom. Hmm. I don't even know if I could use fireball. Oh, yeah, I can. Awesome! I'm just, I really don't want to die. <laughs> but I am going out of my way to fight stuff. Even though I probably shouldn't. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, I thought I'd aggro that thing. Phew! Good job I didn't. Ah, well that was an experience. 
I killed a level 4 and it didn't give me all that much experience. What is this? Is that a potion? Oh, find the pages of Marco's lost journal. History buff, 15 of 100. The hell does that mean? Wait, does that tell me where they are? Whoa, that's huge. Okay, the map's not as big as it lets on, or as it looks. Yeah, we've barely moved and we've already un uncovered a fair bit of it. Just from the village. So Marco's Lost Journal looks kind of like a potion. Okay. I just saw this red thing sticking out of the ground and wondered what it was. Didn't realise it was going to be a journal. Can I read that then? Or is it something where I have to finish it before I can? Page one. Oh. You can't use that. Okay. Well, shoot. <laughs> the village. So I was wrong about the whole mana recovering of every and everything. A bit of a shame, but I mean, I think the game would be too easy if if it recovered as quickly as it has been. We're starting to worry. Well, let's take a look at the sample you've collected. Hmm, a small, powerful voodoo at work here. This bar was corrupted by dark magic. Akazi don't practice voodoo. It could be the Amu Amuri. But I've never seen them perform voodoo this powerful, and they don't usually come this close to the village. We must travel to the docks. Find the dockmaster there. He's in charge. I don't want to overreact, but you should tell him we found evidence of powerful voodoo here. While there, you should also find the trainer and continue your studies. You've learned all you can here, and fate, I feel, has other plans for you. And W, it's more important now than ever to remember that no one must know of your lineage. Your connection to your grandfather, Marco, could put you in danger. You got it. 75 XP. Damn. Right, well, I wanna... Yeah, I kind of wish I could get the, like, health potion recipe. What's this? So you found one of my enchanted feathers. The enchantment on the feather binds you... It binds to your home and can bring you back to safety when you are in trouble or just too tired to walk. Why well, you should keep this. It may come in handy, and it's the only one still in existence. It's too bad, I used to make these by the dozen, but that's before the Emiri incident. I know. Albanaki doesn't like us wandering near the Emiri vi village. Indeed. The old man hasn't even left the village in years, but was looking for some silver and that's the only place to find it on Volcano Island. I was collecting reagents when the Emiri attacked. I dropped my back. Anyway, you should stay clear of the Emiri... So there's no point in speaking of it further. Please use your feather wisely. Find Mada's lost bag. Near the Amori village. Village entrance. Okay. There's not really much else I can do. No, like, as he says, I've learned everything. I can't buy anything from the weaponsmith because I'm too poor. So, the only thing I really can do is leave. Although I should have actually used the potion. Yeah, I completely forgot. Oh yeah, it makes you run so much faster. My ass. You just take bigger strides. Then again, you were probably probably supposed to use the potion to outrun the bar. Honestly. Yeah, if I had to guess, that's what I'd say it was for. Can I go up here? Uh, that seems to be a no. What about up here? This looks like a hill I can climb. Aha! Aww. Oh no, that's a shame. Is that fall damage? I don't know. There might not be fall damage, but there also might be fall damage only if it's a very long fall. <laughs> I just want to keep an eye out for the, the journal pages. Whether they're hidden, or you know, completely out in the open, who knows? We shall find out. They really do move quite slowly. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I would have to say that it's there isn't any other thing around here. Wait, what was that? Oh, there's a person next to the fire. Oh, they weren't there before. I don't think. Yeah, it's just before I actually leave. I want to make sure that I haven't missed. A potential page. I don't think there'd be two here, but you never know. Iloki. Hmm. Alright. Right, time to leave. Watch out. 
Oh yeah. Hmm. That did not kill it. Jeez. Every time I try and do my like my attack from above, I always get hit. Oh yeah, I should probably lock on. Oops. Owned. Oh, Quite weird that melee melee attacks aren't the main the main way of attacking. It's mostly magic. It's quite cool though. Because as I say, when I play most other RPGs that have like a class choice system, I very rarely choose uh, mage. Although I think most of them do have like a regenerating mana system, even if it's only a small one. I don't know, I just don't like having to, having to constantly have a bunch of like, potions on me. Ooh. Hey, teleporter! Hmm. At least I think they're teleporters. As what? The young hero oh. Approached the great there it is. Artifact. To his surprise, the stones began to glow. The portal was coming to life. Hmm. So that's a fast travel gate. Fucking phone. <laughs> DJ Vu. What? Another vision. More deja vu. And this frustrating feeling of familiarity. But the more you think about it, the more the familiarity fades. Those old portals have been dormant for years, but you could try. They will suddenly work. Da 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 da! Eh, what do you know? So we can go back to the village. Not bad. I was hoping there was going to be like, fast travel of some sort. Shoot, I just remembered. Yeah, I've just remembered that I forgot something. Kane! Oh yeah, he did mention to talk to him on, on Turtle Beach. No, I completely forgot there was a guy next to a, a campfire that I should have spoke to. Kane! Hi TRW, it's good you came. I know you're looking for answers about your grandfather, Abanaki. Oh, Abanaki doesn't think you're ready to hear it all. I think you deserve answers, I won't outright defy Abanaki's wishes, and the truth is, I don't fully understand the situation either. But I think I can help. Mako's inner circle consisted of Mako, Abanaki, Maug, and my father, Kentake. Mako and Maug are missing, and the other two won't talk. Here's the thing, though. Mako kept a journal the day he left. I saw him take pages from, a, from the journal and throw them into the sea. He said to me, when the child is ready, the pages will find him. If it were anyone else, I'd call it madness. If you search for those pages, I do believe you'll find the answers you're looking for. There we go, Kane's advice complete. So he basically told me to look out for the potions. Fair enough. Alright, I want to go back to speak with the guy that's next to the campfire. Because I'm dumb. Wait, I'm getting an OCD. What the hell does that achievement mean? Is it because I'm going back and forth between two different areas or something? Yeah, who are you? Iloki. Nobody cleans up after their bars anymore. When I was a kid, the grass here was so green you could eat off it. You real young kid with plenty of spunk. Once want to make some extra gold? Get this lawn looking good again and I'll give you a handsome reward. Clean up all the bar poop. Nice. We gotta clean up some shit. Lovely. Well, first and foremost, we have to kill the bars. What? There we go. Critical! I'm missing. There's a lot of shit. Oh my god, there's ten... Ten craps. What are these balls shit? Oops. So, ten. So that's two. To be fair, it kind of sticks out. Which is quite lucky. I don't want to spend extended periods of time searching for shit. There's four, I think. Uh, f five? Six. I'm just thinking where the other ones are. There's six. Oh! Oh! Oh my. So, so that's six. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought I saw some. Ah, oh, there's some up here. Okay, that's where it'll be. Oh, these things do attack. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hmm. 
Can I go with those? Um, yeah, I was just like, I should probably just heal. Just to be safe. Oh, there we go. Two fireballs. Boom, boom, boom. Might as well grab whatever they dropped. And then there should be the other two crepes. Yep, uh, here. There we are. That's it. Oh, never mind, there's one more. So there's that. Nine. Oh dear. Not great, where's the other one? Uh. Okay, this one is not sticking- Oh, there it is, never mind. Found it. Phew. What was I, this one's not sticking out. As much as I would like. Complete. What the fuck? Out of here. Oh! Should actually try attacking them, like, head on. Just to see what happens. I think you probably could do melee. You just have to dodge a lot. But I don't think it's a super viable thing. Hey, nice job, son. The grass looks good as new. Let me just get some coin for you. Here we are. There you go. Is three gold enough? No. What well, grateful little in my day you could buy two rounds of crab juice, a fishing pole, and a new ball collar for three gold. Now run along, you. Oh, but hey, uh, are you going to use all that poop? <laughs> you mind if I take one? I need it for something. Poop is skipper complete. Yay! I did not get much XP for that. Or money. Three bloody gold? Should be three gold per crap. Yeah, that's a much better rate. Turtle Peach. Mm. What level are the turtles? Akora. They are a level three. Okay. There's also something over there. Oh, the Mori Scout. What the bloody hell are they? Ew. Oh, they look gross. I really want to fight them, but... You know, they're, they're higher level than I am. So I can wait for the time being. Turtle brush. Yeah, I'll just kill the fish first. The fish. The turtles first. Lovely. Can I drown? No, I think this is as deep as it goes. Luckily. That does nine. Six. Do not have all that much. Oh, wow. One, two, three. Oh, my God. Jesus. That's 20 XP, though. And eight gold. Ground a Korra shell and chewed sandals. Is that the oh, God, that's coming after me. Um. Yeah, I'll just do that. Bunch of fireballs. That's right, you better run away. I really hope there's a way of, like, upgrading your spells or something. That would just be nice. Wait. Um. That works. Oh dear, never mind. Are you kidding me? Huh. Ah. Just run. Uh. Wait, I want to take whatever this is. Scotium. Sodium, not Scotium. <laughs> Double crit. Not good though. Not particularly. I don't even know where to go. I want to kill one of these. Whichever has the lower amount of health. Yeah, I, got, I took 16 from that. Can I kill one of them, please? Yeah! Whee! I'm somehow avoiding them, kind of. I missed. How do you miss? It still isn't dead. Oh my god. I don't even know which one I'm attacking, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Leveled up. <laughs> I did a crit, which was two. Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, granted, that was a crit, but it still did. A lot. 28. Alright. Right, well, before I, you know decide to sign my own my own death away I think I should try and find a totem wait is this a oh page 2 
Okay, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're in bottles. The red one just stuck out, but that was a green one. But they do still look like potions. God Karame. Hmm. There's a boat. I really want to find a totem. Because then I don't have to worry about dying. I'm just like, oh wait, there's a... Oh, there's a totem here. Oh. Well, there we go. Perfect. Ah. Wonderful. Who are you? Bento. Trying to get to the docks? There's something wrong with the bridge. The guards are deliberating, but I think they're totally lost. There's some kind of bad voodoo at work here. Hey, you're Abenaki's boy, right? Yeah, I thought so. Listen, I have a theory. This might sound crazy, but I think there's some... thing on that bridge. Something we can't see. I tried to get a closer look, and just before something struck me, I swear I could hear... heavy breathing. Yeah, that expression on your face, that's just how the guards looked at me, too. Just hear me out, I think I can make something. A potion that will give you some, uh, true sight. It's experimental, I just need four turtle brush to complete the recipe. Will you help me? Great, I just need four, uh, six. Maybe six. Bring me six turtle brush and I'll do the rest. Okay. What I want is more recipes. No oh, TW, so you want to learn to fight on the run, do you? Well, you've come to the right place. Turtle Beach is the ideal training spot. I call it kiting, and I've kited more turtles than anyone other than Kane and maybe Windermere. We'll start slow. I'll give you some pointers and then you can practice with just a single Akura turtle. turtle. But be careful, they are well armoured and tough to fight up close. Now for starters, the whole point is to not let the opponent get close enough to hit you. Pretend you're in a Mori and run like a coward if you have to. If an Akura hits you even just, just once, that counts as a failed attempt. And practically speaking, you don't want to get hit by an Akura anyway, they're extremely strong. Okay, so you want to stay out of the Akura's range while throwing whatever you've got at him. In your case, let's say fireballs. Don't use any spells to inhibit his movement. That would be cheating. Pretend such magics are as forbidden as voodoo, so only use fireballs. So let's get started. Go and take one Akura turtle down without getting hit, using and using only fireball. I'll be watching from here. Return to me when you're done. Oh. Pretty sure I've done that. Probably. Oh well, whatever. So there's the, the totem at the very least. I kind of want to try and take out the Amori. But I don't know how bad that would be. Wait a minute, can I speak with Bento and get some potions? God, Kikaru... Kokachi. Some bright names. There we go, you do sell stuff. Good. Regenerate. <gasps> the hell is this? Focus. Makes you use a regenerate health for two minutes. That sounds real good. Buy that. That was 50. Oh boy. That's 40. What's it say? The next ability you use will have 50% cooldown times for 5 minutes. Ooh. Dangling undergrump. And pincer plant. Oh. Um. Honestly. There we go. There we go. To be fair, it's not all that bad. Wait, I could probably kill one of them from here. Ten. Oh boy. I need a crit. But crits seem to happen at, like, random. Also, counting one of these things is real easy because they're super slow. Oh, come on. Kaboom! Naha! I win. There we did it. That was pretty good. The next challenge is a little different though. Sometimes you want you don't want to draw attention. Maybe you just want to get where you're going quickly without any trouble. Or maybe you want to take down an Amori scout without drawing attention from a nearby voodoo wielding Amori shaman. The challenge is to get from here to Barco's fishing hut and back without drawing attention from any Akura turtles. You'll need to be stealthy and quick. I'll be watching from here. Good luck. Make it to Barco's fishing hut on the beach and back without getting attention from Akura turtles. The fishing hut? Oh, that thing. Oh. Stealthy and quick. So the fishing hut is over there. Yeah, that's Baco. I mean, I made it there. Ooh. Return to him without drawing any attention. 
the hardest part will be getting back up to him. Yeah, I think so. Go, go, go! I think, I think we're fine. Maybe. There we go. Made it. Naha! Easy. And I thought that would be hard. Ha! Not bad, not bad at all. Ready for the ultimate kiting challenge? I can see nine Akora from here. How about you kite all nine of them at once? Return to me if you manage to pull it off. Kite all nine. One, two, three, four. Uh, is there nine? Oh yeah, there is. Well, there's one. Two. Oh god, I pressed B. Oh, there we go. Just wanted to hit all three. Right, as long as they're all still after me, it's all good. I've still got these two to get. Which is going to be the hardest part. Come on. I need them all to be, like, closer together. Ugh. Ouch. Yeah, because then it's just, you know, like a nice little group. Right, boom. There we go. All nine have been kited. Oh boy, that's a lot of XP. I really don't want to kill all of them though. Yeah, kite all nine and live to tell about it. I'm assume, assuming they don't need to chase me all the way to him. What is this? Yeah, I think I think we're good. I did I got all of their attention, so it's fine. Let's hope anyway. It's a challenge off here, what if you can't do it? What? Oh, they need to be near me. Oh god, they're all here. I think. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is nine. I'm very confused because they're all here. Oh, unless it, by kite he means kill all of them. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I feel I need to kill them all. Oh. Oh boy. 